Hello, New York. Um, yes, my name is Daniel Dufresne. I'm a French uh, filmmaker and I live in Montreal. And thank you for the invitation and thank you for being here. Um, last year we, we made uh, this um, uh, format money. It was uh, its a uh, gay documentary um, on, and you can play online or in your iPad. It's, um, it's a game about, um, about a town called Format Mare, now in Alberta. Because uh, as a filmmaker, for me, technology is very important. I love new technology, I love transmedia and everything, but story first. Story comes first. Story, story, story. And the story is about this town, North in Alberta, um, the biggest industrial uh, site on earth. They produce a very dirty uh, oil that American people love because everything produced there is for you. And I mean, we are all responsible about this situation. I mean, there is a lot of uh, oil on my computer, on my glasses, on the microphone. So it's not a way to judge people over there, but it's a way to understand. And um, we, we try to, to, to mix, to merge two things, documentary and game. So that's the reason we, we call it game documentary. And uh, at the very beginning of the project, three years back in the days, um, I come to my producer and I say to, to them, I would like to make a movie about this town in Alberta. And they told me, oh, you know, the guys are from the NFB National Film Board. And they told me, oh, you know, there is a, a big problem um, in, uh, about this. It's called green fatty. Nobody cares about environmental issues. And I say, that's the reason why I would like to make a game. Because with the game, maybe we can... Uh, we can get people involved into the, the issue. So I would like to, uh, to show you a very short demo about the game documentary. Fort McMahon, an area the size of the world, larger than the world. You are embarking on a documentary game in which everything is real. The places, the events, the characters. The choices you make will determine your experience and will affect the other person in the game. You are going to count around the experts of Fort McMurray. This is where your experience truly begins. Talk to the occupants. Search everywhere. In front of you, on the ground. Click on the clues. Don't miss anything.
to get into the heart of the ordinance. Okay, if you found a TV on the garage, please keep it for me. 
and he came to the TV, and he said, hey, David, I've got a clear TV for you. So I bring the TV, you, you see the, the picture in the middle, and I put it on the ceiling. And all the location, 22 locations are like this. This is real documentary with gaming uh, mechanism. Okay, I do fast. I have to tell you, uh, to me, it's very honor to be here. It's an honor to be here because uh, as a documentary maker, we love game, but we don't know if game people love documentary. But what we, uh, what we saw just after the launching of the game is a lot of school, university, uh, high school, uh, took uh, formal money as a learning tool. And, and it was, it was very, very, very surprising, surprising for us because we didn't um, think about this before. But education and documentary are, are like brothers. Okay. And right now, I would like to, do, to close with some feedback. So more than half a million of people play the game about 600,000 players. So it was a huge success for Arte in France, for NFB, for us. But to me, there is new metrics, much more interesting than the old metrics that call numbers, you know, that for me, this is TV world uh, way of thinking. Uh, what I would like to show you right now is the kind of new metrics we can get from the transmedia world. For example, this is a design. Um, um, she was a, a girl, she was a designer, and she can't wait week after week to play. So she changed the name of the game, and she sent it on, the, on, the, on Facebook. Suncro, that's a um, whole big whole company, asked to the employees to play the game. And we got a lot, a lot, a lot of feedback from social networks. Uh, and, and for example, example on Facebook, Facebook more than 300 people, players, a creative group to play together, to debate together about the game and after that about the subject, the issues. That was very interesting to see so many people came for the game and stayed for the issues, stayed for the topic. Um, okay, that guy, maybe you know him, a lot of friends. More than two million <laughs> say, uh, say a very cool thing about us, so it gives us, it drives a lot of audience. But to me, the best feedback is that one. One day on Twitter, I saw that one. It, it was written by a player, a young player, and she drew the map. And it was exactly the same I drew two years before to my video. So, so to, to me, me it's, it's a, a way, way to, to, to get impact, to, 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 to see how people can be involved into our kind of production. Thank, Thank you very you. much.
or watch it at the end of your gameplay. And what we've heard is that this has been a wonderful way to invite people into the new get culture and learn more, and really to inspire more people to engage in the game. One of the most surprising things for us has been the reception it's received and actually ended at home. We recently won the best game at the, the, uh, the British Academy Awards, but most importantly, our community back home has embraced it. You can imagine coming from far north, um, we don't have a lot of internet connectivity. A lot of the older generations have never come out with a video game controller, um, but they welcome this game with open arms. We, right before the launch of the game, Last, Last November, November, we showed the trailer and the insights at our Elders and Youth Conference in Anchorage. It's a conference where over 1,500 elders and youth come together to talk about the issues that are facing the last day of the community. And when we, when we showed that trailer, we saw everyone line up because they saw something on the screen that reflected them. Then when, when we started, started showing, showing the uh, cultural insights, people were just like, I know him, he's part of you know, you know, my, my community, he's my uncle, or he's my cousin. cousin. There are all these stories that just start at the beginning. And that's, that's one, one of the most amazing things about the power of video games. games. It really inspires people to connect to each other. One, one of the great things, things about Never Alone, Alone is that it is a two-person two game. game. Um, you can play one person and switch between the characters. But the idea was that you can't really solve all puzzles without the two characters cooperating, which reflects our traditional value um, of interdependence in the community. Uh, for us, one of the things that we wanted to do was make sure that that value was shown in the gameplay, but it was also reflected in how we made the game and how we embedded the cultural insights. At the end of the game, um, there are a total of over 20 cultural insights available. And what we found is that a lot of the elders that were filmed during the making of it are kind of those elders that are going to be passing away in the next decade or so. And the Nupiak language itself, which you've heard on the trailer, the whole game is narrated in Nupiak, is a dying language. Um, there are about, I think, 10,000 in Nupiak um, individuals being in the Arctic. Area, area, but less than a third of them speak in India, and only a handful of them really speak it fluently. So to be able to share our language, not only through the narration, but to see the elders accidentally break into India instead of English on the cultural websites is a lot of fun. Um, I, we're running short on time, so I thought I'd just stop there so that we can take some questions and answers. But I'm really happy that you guys came and were able to see not only um, Never Alone, but um, David Cave, because I think these types of games are powerful. I think we all understand the power of games and how they can be used to share stories and um, share important topics, and I'd love to hear from you guys. Some, some walk-up comes close, some, some restaurants get problems. So, so 
um, since, since one year, year half, people vote, vote in the game, game and, and say it's, it's going to be a ghost town. town. And, and in, in the reality, reality because, because of the economic issues, issues maybe, maybe it could be a ghost town sooner, sooner than they, they, they thought. thought. Okay. So, so and, and as, as a player, player if, if you want to only explore, explore the town, town just, just, I mean, the, the documentary part, part, you can, can do it. it. And, and if, if you, you want, want to be a hard player, player you, you can, can spend days and days, days doing it. And I love that. <laughs> yes. Hi, Hi thank, thank you. you. My name is Steve from Access. Access. We're a digital, digital rights organization. organization. I wanted, I wanted to know, to know uh, this is very related to the question that was just asked, what, what metrics do you use to understand the engagement of the players and the feedback of the players, and whether you actually take um, the metrics that you use to provide updates or change that can improve the game in some way? Thank you. Um, the, the, the fact is, everything is new since Five years now, now but everything. everything. I mean, the production, the broadcasting, the way of filming, the way of scripting, the way of everything. And the way to, to, to come, to, 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 to evaluate it, to evaluate it, is new. So, so for me, getting feedback, feedback from, from the social network, I mean, real feedback, feedback, not that I like or I don't like, like but I had other players to play. play. I call, I call people, people to play. play. Uh, I, I change, change the game. game. Uh, for, for example, example some people, people uh, create a um, Twitter, Twitter uh, account to hack the game. game. And they, they were successful. successful. <laughs> <laughs> they they hacked the game. game. And, and you know, you know it's, it's like, like in, uh, when, 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 when you make, make a film, film and you make a presentation in the film, film when, when people did it after the movie. movie. Okay? For me, that's the same. But they did it online. You create, you create a debate, debate. you create, create a dis dis discussion. discussion. And, and that's, that's what, what we are all about in our work, creating the debate. debate. But you can, you can get, get also metrics like Google and Analytics and everything, how many people, 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 people come, how so many people stay, and everything. But, but to me, it's not enough right now. It's absolutely not enough. The quantity is not enough. The quality is much more interesting. Everybody, Everybody uses for the list. New York Times uses for the list. They are from the list. So, so we, don't we don't care. care. Try, Try to, to, to understand what people, people love really and, and what, what people, people want really. To me, it's, it's more interesting. interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, I just, I just wanted, wanted to ask, to ask uh, to both of you this question, which is related to what you were just discussing about, about metrics and impact. Um, it's it's fascinating, fascinating to see you know, the tweets and the comments on Facebook about your game, David. Um, but, but I'm also curious to know, how did you get there? there? You know, you what were the mechanisms? I'm always very curious about, um, you know, in film and television, we you know, send in press releases, we hire publicists. Um, yes, yes, I think many of us are familiar with, with the work one, one does in social media, media. But, 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 but you know, how, how, how did you get, you get to that? that? You know, what, what tools, tools did you use to get, get to the point? point? How, how did you engage influencers? influencers? And I'm very curious to hear that from both of you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the, the, the feedback. I don't understand it. Tell you the Okay, so, uh, two things. Okay, okay, So, two things. Anything in the National Film Board is a machine of war <laughs> for marketing. And I'm a punk. I'm coming from punk music, total control. So, you put it up together, I'm a geek. I'm always on Twitter and Facebook, and so that's my game. So, I put all my, uh, all my energy, and everything is very, very, uh, very good for this. this. So, so it's, it's a lot of work. And if you, as I know, you are a producer, 
the main problem with the lot of producers for the, the, the kind of uh, stuff is, is they don't, don't put money, they don't put time, they don't put energy for, the, for, for this, the marketing business. The, the day or night, everything, everything starts. starts. It's, it's not, not finished. finished. It's, it's absolutely, absolutely not, not like a movie. movie. The day or night, and I'll just talk really briefly about our experience with engaging the community. Um, you know, coming up to the launch group, this is our first consumer game launch, um, and we're very excited about it, but it required a lot of face time. So we had a lot of face time with the press at the various uh, venue and conferences around the world. Um, and then locally in Alaska, one of the most important things we did was engaging the community. And, and what, what we, we found, found is not only are the pockets of the individuals who participate in the game kind of getting excitement from the game, but the education community in Alaska has embraced it. And we, we have, have a requirement in Alaska for Alaska studies, and the portion of pre-request to contact is like five minutes long. long. And, and so a lot of the teachers have been bringing our game into the classroom to share with the kids, to share as many documentary. So we actually wrote a curriculum to align with Alaska studies Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>